Okay, this is the SN 76477. Um, I, uh, I built this around um, that chip. I bought that chip back in the late 1970s and uh, it took me I guess about 30, over 35 years to build a, finally build a circuit to support it. Anyway, I put it in this box here and so these are all the controls for that uh, chip. So it has a voltage controlled oscillator and then a digital noise source and a low frequency oscillator, um, a sort of a weird envelope generator, and then um, this mixer section over here, and, uh, um, and then I added a couple of voltage sources just to continue uh, to control some of the other inputs for it. So, uh, first of all, if you look at the, uh, if I look at the VCL, it has a pretty, um, one of the things it has is you can feed the LFO into it to control pulse width modulation. Now I'm taking the output of this and I'm feeding it into another uh, mini modular synthesizer that I built. And actually, um, this is a new filter I designed that uh, I sort of like the sound of it. Um, so I'm processing it through that, and I also have the ability to add some echo on the motif here. So I'm going to turn off the echo for now, and go back to the disconnect the pulse width modulation, and then uh, let's hear that sound again uh, a little bit drier. I'll turn down some of the um, Q on the filter. the VCO goes down into a very low frequency and they actually make use of that as a um, as an envelope when we get over the envelope generator section okay uh, next let's take a look at the noise so to activate the noise I have to change the mix and that's if I flip um, the B to the one setting that will give me noise So right now I have the envelope set on. I'm going to turn off the uh, envelope so it is mixer only. So that's this one down, that one. So that gives me pure notes. modulate the noise with the LFO as you saw there or I can con also that controls something on it called the clock which um, controls part of the noise and then you can also adjust the filter frequency and you could hear how that sounds I could also send the if I flip this switch it'll take the filter frequency from an external source so I could control it from some other source Okay, uh, next I'll go back to um, the other thing you can do is 
um, have when you do the output you can have it choose more than one setting so I'm going to try a few of these different other envelope settings first of all if I have these low and that one high that should output the uh, only the LFO on the envelope so I'll turn the LFO up to the audio range so you can hear that Or I could um, send out, um, if I do the A and B high, If I put the envelope into uh, one shot mode, which is this one up and that one down, then I can control it with this button. So, let's see. Put the uh, VCO into the. Uh, um, sorry, if I put the mix in or the envelope, if I put the envelope into the one-shot mode, I can control the sound with this button, and I can control the attack and release with these two knobs. Okay, so those are some of the features of the SNV, or the SN76477 Complex Sound Generator.